glad that, you know, though he's finally, you know, um, unleashing the music and letting the world hear it. Because I think it's something that people will, you know, really like take a liking to. And even though, you know, it's been a years long process, uh, the timing probably came out, you know, perfectly. You know what I'm saying? Because of just the way, like the things that he's saying, the things that he's, um, the way he's saying them, the things that he's talking about. And just as far as, you know, a lot of uh, hip hop listeners um, starting to become more mature right now. You know what I'm saying? He's rapping a lot about those things, you know, these things that, you know, people go through every day that they don't hear their favorite artists talking about, you know what I'm saying, like they should. I think people who listen to this album are gonna be 100% um, appreciative that somebody says something real, you know, in a, in, a, in a situation where most people, are, you know, they're keeping it real and just keeping it, you know, their realest fantasy. And um, I think PK is saying things that, you know, as an adult, not just on some, um, I feel like as, as a kid, when I came up listening to records, or listening to people, I wanted to listen to people who had some experience. I didn't want to listen to my age group tell me what we should be doing because I didn't think they had the experience or the, um, the knowledge of how to tell me. So I listened to people like my uncles and I got more game and I got honest, honest criticism and I got honest feedback from them. And I think that's what, you know, walking away from PK's album, you'll get honest criticism of where we are as adults who grew up in hip hop. The game is in this particular state because of what it lacks, not what it has. And I believe his album is creating balance. It's showing you another side to, you know, not only Atlanta, but another side to Southern hip hop. You understand what I'm saying? Like, it's showing you Southern hip hop. I think it's mature. I think it's dope. I think it's appropriate for people who've grown up on Atlanta for 20 years. I think it's what Atlanta music, um, can be and has been reflective of, and we'll see how it goes. I think it's gonna be, I think he's gonna be entertaining, if nothing else, and it's gonna be dope. You know, he's always associated himself with quality records, whether it was the Young Bloods, or Floaty, or the Attic Crew as a whole, so I have no reason to doubt he's gonna do it again. Overall, like I said, for me, I'm very proud of the project in this entirety because um, there was an album before this, uh, of songs that were actually good quality caliber songs but he was in a different space at the time I mean I can I can tell the difference like you know then he was a more of a, of a playful you know you know fun state and then with this particular project you know you can tell that he got some shit that's you know on his chest that he putting into his music and that's really what art is supposed to be about it's supposed to be about taking your struggles and your celebrations but really taking your struggles if you're going through something and, 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 and allowing that energy to manifest in your work with um, his project and some foundations that he has inside of him coming from the attic crew associated with the family the whole DF the whole dirty south movement I think that uh, it's a good thing, you know what I'm saying? I think he definitely is, is going to um, bring some questions to the game about <clears throat> are you serious about what you're doing? Do you consider yourself the best? And not just on a swag level, but as far as being the best you can be as a person. You feel me? I thought it was mature. I thought it was honest. I thought it was very revealing. You know, those parts of him and what he revealed about himself as a man that I didn't know, you know what I mean? Um, it, you know, to hear, to hear a man rap about his relationship with his daughter is an interesting thing because, you know, very few, I do it, you know, some on my raps, a few other guys have done it, but very few. When I say few, I mean like in the reference of, I'm talking about my little girl, you might not want to look at her, like, you know. But for him to talk about their relationship, that was one of, the, I think, the most valuable things on that record. It's some hood shit together. This ain't gonna be teeth. <laughs> Talk about how cool he is. But you got some pom pom and skirt out there for me too, Nick. You gotta really talk about how he is. I hate him personally. Oh yeah, he is one of my least favorite people in life. But with that said, probably one of the better relationships I have with brothers because he challenges me to be better and he accepts challenges to be better. He's a great guy like that. But um, 
He'll never rap as good as me. He can out exercise God, but I just rap better. Okay, I'll be first week to hear That's how you gonna start it off. <laughs> as a person, uh, Ken is a motherfucking asshole. Uh, <laughs> sarcastic ass nigga. KB. Yo. You really just gonna walk into my interview like that? My bad, I know you didn't. I know, but you can't even talk.